ニャッハロー Can you feel it? Can you feel the power of Elite radiating from this box? Right, let's use the magic power of YouTube and video editing to get this unboxed, shall we? Magic. So yes, nya hello, it's time we unbox Sakura Miko from Hololive Generation Zero in Nendroid form. That's right. Once again, we have another fantastic Nendroid that needs to be unboxed and this is just the elite that is Sakura Miko. How is she? Well, we're going to find out in the next few minutes. Let's unbox her from a plastic and cardboard prison, shall we? Right, so here she is in her Elite Unboxed version. And yeah, very cute, much like pretty much all of these Hololive Nendroids. I've not seen a Hololive Nendroid that is not cute so far. And yeah, very, very cute. Has a, well, pausable twin tail, side tail, ponytail? I don't know what you want to call it. Whatever it is, it is pausable and can also come apart at the blink of an eye. Yeah, but it's one of those ones where it's pausable, but because there is the, um, the the bell in the way, it can't pause it in all ways, which is a shame. Right, let's wait until it unblurs and we'll have a look and see at some of these nice little details, shall we? So, very much like all of the other Hollow Live Androids, she is incredibly detailed. I really like the detail on here. In fact, some of the detail on here is actually a little bit better than the pop-up parade, which I did do a review of not so long ago. So if you are interested in that, go check it out on the channel. After you finish watching all of this video, watch till the end, then check it out. But yeah, um, the detail is actually a little bit better than the pop-up parade, which I kind of felt was the opposite for the Fubiki one. It was, the Fubiki one was a little, little less detailed which was a shame. So yeah, um, everything on her looks absolutely fantastic. I love the, I love all of this little detail on here. I love all of the little bits here and there. That's, you can see it all looks really nice. I love the amount of bows on her. Yeah, I mean, it. some bits are a little less detailed, but other bits are more, especially on her cloven, it feels a little bit more. And she does have the Miko charm. I do feel like I'm looking at this and I am getting that charm. She has a number of alternate face plates as well. So we will look at them over the course of this video. So yeah, what are you guys thinking so far? Let me know in the comments. And if you were wondering, yep, she's wearing underwear. <laughs> it's one of the ones I, I, I often see people and it's like, what, 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 what underwear is she wearing? And it's like, oh, really, do we need to know that? So yeah, let's get her on an elite stand, shall we? Here is another pose of hers, and yeah, um, this one's quite okay. I tried to put the glasses on, but they weren't really wanting to play well. The glasses actually stick onto the back of the hair, so yeah, um, they are a little bit awkward, and I couldn't get them to look actually look really, well, elite. 
a little bit of a shame. Um, she does come with alternative arms, at least the, the forearm is included. I thought it was just two arms that were stuck together, but no, you can actually change the arms as well. And she comes with a variety of extra little hands. Something else that needs pointing out is that you do get a baby Miko version. Um, I will stick the picture on there because it is incredibly difficult to take the head off the ball joint and pour on here. So I won't be doing it in fear of breaking it. Be very careful because I tried to do it and it felt like something was going to break. So I was like, no, we will not do that. In the future, good smile, don't put extra ball joints in here. Put them separate so we can choose to put them in because these things are evil, evil, evil to try and remove. Right, and here is a more worried look. I actually really like this face on her. It's that one that you always see during streams where she just looks somewhat confused and a bit absent-minded. This is pure Miko at her finest, and I really like it. I didn't change any of the hands or anything like that. I just kind of kept it as a more neutral expression because I really wanted to show off that face because that is just a great face plate. It just looks so perfect. And here she is in a jumping pose. Um, I just copied the one that's off the uh, the front of the box. She's looking very, very excited and ready to, I don't know, force some elite punishment on somebody. Or, well, you know, do Miko things. Also worth pointing out that you do get her little mascots, two little cats. This one is called um, Candy. And this one here is actually called... Uh, Schlottenheim Rheinback the fourth. Um, yeah, I don't know what they're actually called. I'm sure something will pop up on the screen right now and see it, and somebody will correct me in the comments if I am actually wrong. A really fun little pause here. I really do like that. They've given us some jumping pauses as well, because of course Miko is famous for you know jumping around and having a good time. Hang on, that's the other one. That's the rabbit. Hmm. Next pause. And finally we have her, well, going on another adventure. In Minecraft possibly. That's right, she comes with her signature lava bucket. That's right, a lava bucket in order to cause another Minecraft disaster almost as bad as the Great Minecraft Fire of 2020. Yes, I love the fact that even a, a somewhat niche uh, thing is included in this figure. It's a nice little addition and really makes you realize that they are putting a lot of care and attention into these Nendroids. Hey, so I actually went back and put together baby Miko. Ah, look at the Miko baby. The elite Miko baby. <laughs> Honestly, this is a really fun one, and I really do like the fact that they've actually give a separate torso. It doesn't stand up or anything, it's just a fun little extra. I also included the sad, distressed looking baby face because, hey, you kind of can't not, can you? Um, yeah, it's a really fun little addition to an otherwise fun figure. I really do like it. Ah, look at the baby. And there we have her, Sakura Miko, another really nice Nendroid. What do you guys think of this Nendroid? Do you like her? Do you hate her? Well, I can't imagine anybody who's going to hate her watched all the way to the end of this video. But, yes, like I said, very nice Nendroid. I feel like all of these Nendroids so far have been incredibly nice. So, I'm really happy about it. What's your favourite pose and what's your favourite faceplate? Let me know. And are you going to pause it as a baby Miko? I want to know. 
as always, thanks for coming, and if you did enjoy it, leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.